Now, switching gears now, if I may, the news has been talking a lot, especially last week. Last week, when we finished the podcast, I turned on the news, and all they were talking about, the only thing they were talking about, you know, they're, they're going nuts about it. And throughout the week, I've heard it, too. I, the news has just been going nuts talking about Jose. We are monitoring monitoring Jose. Yeah, we've got reporters keeping an eye out on Jose, and 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 you know, of course, that then puts a spotlight on me. And now people want to hear what I have to say, and it's been difficult. Yeah. I've spent I've spent this entire week trying to figure out what to say right now, and I'm sorry if I get a little bit choked up, but this is a difficult difficult topic for me to talk about, as is to be expected. You know, because everyone's eyes are on me now. Jose is on his way, people. So so now, of course, everyone everyone wants to hear from from me. So, in fact, the other day, the news, I, 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 I there's a there's a small part of me that occasionally gets Republican. Uh, yes, I think there's a small no, I think part everybody, of everybody. I think everybody feels that way. There's a small part of you that occasionally gets Republican. And I really kind of found myself screaming fake news, fake news. Over this last week, because I actually heard the news say the East Coast is breaking for Jose's impact, which is what the news said, which is odd because I know for a fact, or at least I was under the impression that my older brother was actually in Mesa for a bowling tournament. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that he's actually, instead of ravaging the East Coast, he's ravaging um, uh, pitchers of beer at Mesa Bowl. <laughs> but again, who am I to argue with the mainstream media? I don't buy into all this fake news bullcrap. So apparently, my brother is ravaging the East Coast, or he has ravaged the East Coast. And now, of course, I'm thrown into the national spotlight as, you know, now I'm expected to give people answers as to why my brother is destroying the East Coast. God, I bet yeah. this is how the parents of the trench coat mafia felt. Yes. You know? Yes. Like, like, Mrs. Klebold uh -huh. and Mrs. Harris, you know, I bet they felt, you know, I understand how they feel. You know, suddenly everybody is looking to me. Suddenly I'm supposed to be, on, you know, in the news talking about yeah. my brother who's destroying an entire half of the nation. Okay. God, this must be how the Kennedys feel. This must be how the Kennedys feel. Yes, but keep notes, Okay. Yeah. Keep notes. Because later on, you know, instead of a Klebold, you could be a Mr. Dahmer who did a yes. whole documentary about how his son is a psychopath. Yeah. So you could do yeah. the same thing. Good point. I you could put out I... you it, it 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 behooves you to write the tell all book. Yes, I will have to. I will have to. Think about all the stories that you have. Oh, hell yeah. Concerning Jose. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That would fly. See, now, now, now your best shot at success yeah. is if your brother turns out to be a spree killer. Yes. When they finally catch up to him. And, and they find out what he's been doing. He's, like, killed 50 people from one end of the country to the other. Yeah, you know what? He, he would – Jose could really help me out if when he goes on – after he's caught, you know, from his killing spree. Right. You know, hey, Jose, can you at least do me a solid and say yeah. that your dog told you to do it? Yes. That would just help my book deal chances. That's yes. the difference between like a, you know, a five figure and a six figure book deal, basically. Okay, I got, I got, I got something else that'll that'll really help rocket this book to the top. Okay, gotcha, Rocket Man. It may be a little Cato Kalini, all right. Okay, but you sit behind your brother at the sentencing. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. And you very quietly, nonchalantly just needle him through the whole thing. Okay? Nice. Nice. 
so that when he is sentenced to the electric chair and you are needling, his first reaction is to, is to, is to punch you right in the jaw. You fall backwards. I understand this is going to hurt, but it's going to, the yeah. millions the book is going to make for this. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You are now in the news. You have now just eclipsed your brother at his sentencing. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm stealing the spotlight, basically. That's right. And then yeah. you come out with the book. Jose, I just want to take this time to say that I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> I'm not touching you. While, so, while you're on trial for your killing spree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so look, people, America, the media. Mm -hmm. I don't know why my brother is ravaging the East Coast, but I will say it doesn't come as a surprise. He does have a habit of ravaging things if yes. he's had too many, you know? Uh huh. He's a bit of a heavy drinker. You got to keep your eye on him. That's why you got to keep your eye on Jose because you turn around for a second and Jose has already done two shots of Goldschlager and a Jaeger bomb and he's wanting to get into a fight with somebody. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep your eye on Jose. Mm -hmm. Just period. Okay? It, it is a public service announcement. Yeah. That's why I've been kind of happy turning on the news and seeing the talking heads talk about my brother, quite frankly, it's about time he was monitored by the news. <laughs> and, you know, I have always said that. I have always said my older brother, Jose, should be monitored. When yes. my brother couldn't get a DQ blizzard and punted me in the futon room, I said right then and there, one day CNN will be charting my brother's progress. <laughs> <laughs> as he tries to punt the East Coast. That's a 100% true story. Yes. 100%. 1,000 quadrillions percent true. 